So, some people are wondering if they can start the journey as a cloud engineer. Is cloud engineering or is DevOps right for me? If I am to start the journey, how long will it take for me to become a DevOps engineer or for me to become a cloud engineer? Welcome to DevOps Mike. Today's video is focused on two things. How long it takes to become a successful DevOps or a cloud engineer the first. And secondly, who can become a DevOps or a cloud engineer? You want to watch this video to the end to know if you are fit to become a cloud engineer or DevOps engineer or if you are ready to take on the steps to becoming a cloud engineer. Do well to hit hit the subscribe button right now if you are not yet subscribed to our channel and why not if you are a returning subscriber hit the notification bell because you want to get more content from us and if you have been coming across our content and there are things you want us to do more videos on leave that in the comment section how long it takes to become a devops engineer or a cloud engineer is a question which many people have at the back of their minds and the answer is devops is a practice let me take a simple analogy a medical doctor takes averagely depending on the country in which you are a medical doctor takes averagely seven years to become a full-fledged or a full practicing doctor where they have to go through several set of coursework in school where they are being taught several systems and then after understanding several systems in the human body they now have the next stage where they might go to hospitals or practice. Over the seven years duration of training, they are both doing coursework in campuses where they learn the various parts in the human body before now they go to the hospitals where they actually practicalize these things which they have learned. So it's the same analogy with the cloud engineering or with the DevOps space. DevOps is a practice and it being a practice means there are a given set of technologies which you must master. And once you can comfortably say that you've mastered these technologies, then can you say you are ready to get into the market as a DevOps engineer. These technologies are a vast set of technologies and depending on your aptitude or depending on your, on your IQ, you might be a fast learner where you want to learn these technologies at a very increased speed or you might be a slow learner where you want to take time to gradually understand these concepts and practice but averagely it takes between six months to a year for you to have a theoretical concept that means between six months to a year you have a grasp of some of the key technologies that are used in the devops environment either for the aws stack or for the azure stack or for the gcp stack so once you've had a, an understanding of these technologies along these various stacks between six months to a year it takes some time to practice these technologies so because you have gone through a boot camp maybe for three months or for four months or for six months that doesn't necessarily mean that you're qualified or you are actually up to date to become or to occupy roles in the DevOps or in the cloud space. You take six months, maybe in a bootcamp or a year in a bootcamp to understand these technologies, to play around these technologies. And then after that, you take more time, maybe two years or a year to further practice these technologies. And like I've been recommending in all my past videos, set up a project repository. Once you have a project repository and you can practicalize all these technology stack which you've learned and constantly updating your repository, before long you see that you are very comfortable along these technologies and you can actually occupy roles maybe as a DevOps engineer or as a cloud engineer. Once you've mastered a particular stack, take for example Terraform. Terraform is an infrastructure as code technology that is being used by many companies to deploy their infrastructure now on average you can take over a month or two months to fully understand the concept of terraform how to write terraform scripts terraform variables terraform functions and equally you can start to master how to use terraform alongside other technologies assuming that you're working on amazon web service cloud and you want to equally learn infrastructure as code you now start learning amazon cloud formation now cloud formation on its own you can take averagely two months still to learn just cloud formation so you already see that you're compounding four months to understand infrastructure as code in either of the cloud services six months to a year is sufficient time for you to have elementary understanding of these cloud technology stacks now after you've understood these technology tools you now take maybe a year or two years to practicalize all these skill sets alongside setting up your project repository and once you're done between the first year or the first to the third year you can then start applying for entry level role that should be the 18th month after the 18th month you can start going in for entry level roles and now that obviously gives you between 18 months to 24 months that's two years now after two years of practicing these technologies if you can go further to learn more of the technologies use more of them solve more problems between four years and six years you can then start applying for lead roles as a lead cloud engineer or as a lead devops engineer or as a lead site reliability engineer so 
basically you gaining the essentials for you to start the journey is averaging between six months to a year before getting yourself in the cloud journey of course we've said in our previous video that you can use online resources online courses to learn cloud computing but it is advisable for you to get yourself into an academy a lot of people want to start the devops journey or the cloud journey and i recommend you aside going through online courses for you to get yourself enrolled in an academy there are various reasons why you should get yourself enrolled in an academy and we call it in the previous video why you should get yourself into an academy because an academy will guide you you give you discipline for you to learn these various technology stacks now we will equally leave the link to an academy which i strongly recommend you can enroll in and get yourself started with your cloud computing journey the second question which this video is answer is who can become a cloud engineer or who can become a devops engineer literally everyone can become a devops engineer or cloud engineer if they are willing to put in the passion and the commitment to learn these technologies because you hear cloud engineers are making six figures doesn't necessarily mean that you just hop into it and you play around and get yourself six figures no you need to consistently have the passion and the determination to learn these technologies and averagely for you to learn these technologies is going to demand a lot of time so once you can put in this time and you're sure that you can get yourself disciplined to learn these technologies maybe for a year over six months to a year then you can get yourself qualified to become a cloud engineer equally those who are actually doing degree programs or bachelor's programs in any it related field or those who equally already have their bachelor's and maybe want to take a top up uh, degree just in an it related field they are all equally advised to start their journey as cloud engineers or as devops engineers and if you're in the finance background or in the legal background or in academia you can consider getting yourself maybe through an academy and then from there you get a necessary curriculum to get yourself started so everyone is eligible to become a cloud engineer or to become a devops engineer if they are willing to put in the maximum concentration the maximum determination and the maximum passion to learn these technologies averagely between six months to a year get yourself equipped practice these things for your first entry level role so this video answered how long it would take for you to become a devops or a cloud engineer and who can become a devops or a cloud engineer thank you for watching this video to the end and if you are not yet subscribed to our channel hit the subscribe button right now and get yourself subscribed and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for being there for us and thank you for watching our videos why not hit the notification bell right now so you get more updates on our content so guys don't forget to subscribe and see you in our next video